All right, welcome back to the shop. So I'm gonna do another video on the CV axles um, for the M1161, M1163 growlers. I've done videos, you know, showing how to change the boots, how to pull the CV axle out of the out of the truck, um, put new boots in it, but I've never shown how to disassemble the outboard uh, CV on it. The inboard CV is real simple. So these were actually sent to me by a, um, by a guy, he contacted me to, see what I could do to help him with his CV axles. Um, they came apart on him. Um, he shipped them all in a box. So this was all laying in the box all apart. You can see there's one ball laying in there. Um, I think there were two all together that were still there, but he lost the other four balls that were in this side. This is this is the inboard side, the side that goes to the diff. Uh, this is the side that we typically take apart when we're putting new boots on. Uh, so normally I cut the bands off. Uh, we cut the boots off with the razor knife and then there's a small wire retainer in there uh, that keeps it and, and all that does that just holds the assembly together um, for assembly purposes you know like when it's on the bench or whatever when you're going to put it in once it's in the vehicle it, it this little wire ring inside here doesn't do anything it just lay, lays in there in fact half the time we pull these cvs apart like this one's not even in there it's it's missing and sometimes they're just laying in a boot and they're kind of cutting the boot up but um uh, something that I read that's interesting about CV axles is that when they design them for cars, this inboard differential side, it's designed to pull apart. So if you get in a bad accident where, you know, the wheels ripped off, um, you don't have the CV axle hooked to the transmission or the differential flailing around where it can, you know, it's going to be jamming. It's going to be going really fast. It can start throwing parts and pieces or whatever. It could hurt somebody. So it's made that when that wheel is ripped off of the vehicle in, in a bad accident, this CV comes apart. So then all you have is just this cup sitting there in the differential. It's just, if it's still spinning, you know, if the engine's still running, this is spinning, no big deal. This will be stopped by the tire or by the wheel, you know, when it gets, it's grounded out, whatever, you know, it, it's, you know, it can't spin anymore. So that's why they're made that way. And then on this side, on the wheel side, they're made to stay together. Um, so I'm going to show how to get this side apart. Uh, it's, it's, if you don't know how to do it, it's, I mean, almost impossible. Uh, there's kind of a trick to it in a way. Once you know the trick, it's real simple. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut these boots off. Uh, I'll clean this up, and then I will show you how to disassemble this outboard side, the side that goes to the wheel. Uh, this is actually the same as a. It's around a 2002 F5, or I'm sorry, F150 Ford. Uh, it does fit other things, a few other things. Um, it is adapted set a little differently. It's adapted for the growlers. They drill a hole right here for air. And it's ported. It comes down through the stub. and comes out here to the regulator for the uh, uh, CTIS system. But it is basically based off a of standard F-150, uh, like 2002, somewhere in that range. I think 97 to 2002 um, pickup. So anyways, let me get this, uh, my camera set up. I'm going to get... Start getting this thing cleaned up and then I'll I'll get to it. Alright, so I've got the tools that I need. You can start with a pair of wire cutters, you need snap ring pliers, a razor knife, and a hammer, and a punch. And lots of rags. When you do these things, when I rebuild one of these, I probably go through four or five rags on each one. Uh, it's just a, it's a messy job. So you want to start by just, you know, to get your dikes and Cut the clamps off. Get the razor knife. Get the boot off. off the top here off of this bearing race up here. Um, I'm just going to wipe all this off right now. Get the snap ring pliers. Get the snap ring up the end. Uh, the kit that I have the part number for, uh, it's 686-2338. It's a part number from Napa and it comes with this snap ring, this one that goes on the race. It doesn't come with the snap ring inside here. I'll show you that in a little while. Uh, but I can give you a, I'll put a number, a part number in the description for that. So you take that snap ring off. Um, you just, sometimes these races come off easy, sometimes they don't. All right, so this race isn't sliding right off, so I'm just going to pull it off later because I don't need to pull it off to show you what I'm going to do now. Um, I covered that in another video anyways, and I'm going to use the press to get it off just so I don't have to beat on this thing at all. 
So I'm not going to bother showing you that part. Uh, let me just clean this up a little bit. And this, this cage won't come off. It's captivated by that. So when you do go back together, always remember that this race goes on before, or the cage goes on before the race. Okay, so I'll cut this one off. Watch out for these stupid things. They're pretty sharp. This band off. Razor knife. All right, get that boot out of there. Clean up as much of this grease as I can. Let's see if we can't get it all till we get it till we have this thing totally apart. So this is designed so it's captivated, it's stuck. There's no way to get it apart um, other than what I'm gonna show you. And what really sucks is I've seen video of some of them where it, this thing, this shaft broke off flush down here, and that that can really jack you up, I guess. Okay, so pull this out, bring the camera over here to the press. I'm not using the press itself to get this out, but I'm just using the press kind of as a, as a tool here for when I've got to do this. So if you notice, I have these one inch plates across here. I just have a gap in here that this will fit through. I want it just, just wide enough so the shaft fits through without a problem. And then you're just gonna slam it on here. that as straight as you can. You want that axle shaft as straight as you can. And then the, the inertial force of that will pull this out. And what it is, it's not a snap ring, but it's a C-clip, just like you have on the other end uh, that goes into the differential to hold it in. Uh, I found a part number for these circlips, so I'll post that on the uh, in the description. Uh, I don't know how bad they should be before they're not reusable. You just have to use your own judgment on that. But as long as it'll, you could collapse it to where it'll go back together when you want to put it back together, you just have to be able to um, maybe get some pliers and squeeze it together and then tap this in there to get it started. But that's how you get the shaft out of there. Okay, now let's move the camera back over. And I will show you, I'll show you how to get the rest of the CV apart. Set my camera back up here. So you want to clamp this on here. You just want to be careful not to mess with this seal here, seal surface, because there's a seal that rides on there for the CTIS. Uh, you can clamp it right here. You're not going to hurt those spline. They're really hard. Um, you'd have to really do a lot of... It would be pretty hard to damage those splines with your vise. Okay, so now you want to get your punch, get your hammer, and let me look at a camera angle, see if this is going to pick that up. I think it will. Let me get the camera a little closer. I'm trying to do this without getting grease all over my camera. Okay, so then you want to just take the race here and you just want to tap it to the side. Like roll it around until you have, until you can get one of the balls out. Um, Come on. There you go. So you get one of the balls out. Let me put this on the rag here so it don't run away. And then you just work it around. Let's see, it'll go this way. Get another ball out. You just have to keep working and take it all, all the balls out. This one's sticking a little bit. Usually you can just get the magnet and just lift them right out. That ball out. Get all six of them out. Come on. Got the race and the cage fighting each other here. There 
we go. Just get a screwdriver or something to pop it out. And this other ball just fell out inside. Uh, let's see. There's another one there. Push that ball out. They're sticking a little bit in this cage. It's a little tight on them. Let's see if I got them all. I think so. And then you just have to must move this around and work it out. It does come out. Yeah. And it just kind of... You don't want to break anything, but there you go. The bar helps a little bit, just a little bit on the bar. You don't want to chip it or anything like that, but it'll kind of hang up a little bit. You just need, it takes a little bit of uh, a little bit of work with the bar. And then the cage is in here too, and the cage comes out too. There we go. You just got to work it till you find the right spot. These holes will get lined up with these, uh, you know, the the you've got like these grooves in here. It kind of lands in grooves, I guess. It'll get lined up with one of these lands, and then just try to get two of them lined up with that, and then it'll come right out. And when it goes back together, they just kind of work together like a puzzle. You just got to fiddle with them and get them back in like that. So just pay attention when you take it apart to see which way this race goes up. And then, um, you know, make a note of that so you don't get it wrong. And then you can take and clean all the grease out of here. Clean this all up. Feel it. Make sure it feels good. Doesn't have any grooves or anything in it. Um, make sure that the race is clean. Make sure it doesn't have any, uh, like, ridges on it or any cracks or anything like that. You clean the cage up. Make sure it doesn't have any cracks. Make sure it's good to go. And that's it. That's how you take it apart. And putting it back together is just the opposite. You'll you'll install the race. You'll install or install the cage. Install the race, and then uh, you'll roll it around and install the ball bearings, and then get it leveled out. And then you're gonna have your shaft with the circlip on it. You're gonna squeeze the circlip with a pair of pliers, like channel locks. Get it started, and you're just gonna tap it right in. And you'll feel it click in. It'll lock in, and then you can go ahead and finish assembly. You can put the boot on. You know, pack the grease, uh, put the put the boot on, and then assemble your other end. All right, so thanks for watching. Um, if this video helped you out or if you found it at all entertaining, just please hit the like button. Um, hit the subscribe button, please, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post new videos. I've got probably 80-something videos on these growlers. Some of them I put links to it on the growler form, and some I don't. If it's something educational like this, I will. Um, but if you're watching this from finding the link on the growler form and you don't know about my other videos, uh, hit the notification bell and then whenever i put a new video out you can uh, you'll get notified of it anyways thanks for watching uh, share these videos with a friend if you have someone that's interested in this stuff and thanks for watching have a good day